This morning on Jeremy Vine on 5, well, it's Jeremy Vine Extra, according to this, Nick Ferrari was hosting, Owen Jones and Isabel Oakeshott were on the panel, and the subject of antisocial behaviour offenders came up. And I don't even know why this is a subject being debated, but apparently docking the benefits of people convicted of antisocial behaviour is something that's being suggested by some idiot somewhere. So um, we're going to watch Owen Jones destroy Isabel Oakeshot, and we're also going to destroy her a little bit ourselves because she has an absolute nightmare here and she's already on Twitter saying she won this argument. Uh, you, you couldn't make it up. She's uh, quite something. So uh, let's, let's have a watch here. A benefit is just as the name describes a benefit it's a privilege it's taxpayers money unbelievable start hey eh? deliberately conf conflating two separate definitions of the same word to make it sound like people should be eternally grateful for receiving universal credit when they fall on hard times astonishing stuff from this vile woman and if you are busy undermining the taxpayer by daubing graffiti everywhere or littering or doing other antisocial things then you should both clean up and be punished for it so that's what the legal system is there for that's why the legal system exists if you get caught or you are convicted of antisocial behavior you will be sentenced to something by whatever the sentencing guidelines are that is your punishment we're now talking in her case here she's not only talking about she's not talking about that punishment she's talking about an additional punishment on top of that sentencing so owen jones gets to this in a minute what she's suggesting and it's all very nefarious. What's not to like? Uh, well, th there's a couple of things that come to you immediately. W what, what happens then if you have children who suffer as a result of... I'm just going to make up that it's Dad who's doing the graffiti. Right. So now the children don't get the benefits, so they breed the next generation of... Anyone hearing that would think... First thing that comes to my mind is, all right, so Dad has children. Dad has been convicted of antisocial behaviour. Dad has been punished. Um... So we're going to punish his children by taking their benefits away. Anyone, anyone with a, an ounce of compassion would go, ah, actually, you're right. I mean, if he's already been sentenced under the law of the land, then um, to take away benefits that would adversely affect his children is just a bridge too far. It's an additional punishment. It's unnecessary. Anyone with an ounce of compassion would say that. But what, what, what do you think Isabel Oakeshott's response is? Offenders, don't that we? That sounds like Owen's whataboutery. I, I don't... Yes, that sounds like Owen's whataboutery. Um, caring about the children of our country is whataboutery. Absolutely pathetic. Horrible, horrible woman. Like, whether she believes me or not, I don't want her children to suffer any more than I want anyone else's children to suffer. So, God forbid, and I know it's extremely unlikely, but if she was ever on the breadline, I wouldn't be advocating for policies that adversely affect her children. But this is who she is. This is just a vile, unpleasant narcissist. I don't think that that's a particularly compelling argument. The ch I, why? What, the feeding of children? We're going to take food off the table of the children of somebody that we've already convicted under the legal system. For what? Children are being set a dreadful example by the parent who's doing the graffiti and not being punished for it. And That's a side issue. That's a, a total irrelevance. Yes, people have shit parents. It's another obstacle kids have to overcome, having shit parents. We don't make things even harder for them. By taking food off the table, uh, 
Horrible. If they watch their dad having to clear it up, then that will actually be a corrective. Oh, and figures do show, sadly, we've got more what's called fly tipping or dumping than ever before. Many people point to the fact that local authorities charge at their tips or amenity centres. Is this the way of solving it? So if you're a middle-class person who leaves your freezer out on the street and fly tips, then you will suffer whatever the legal consequences are for fly tipping. But if you're poor, then you get an extra punishment. Well, that's... Li there you go. That's exactly the point. So... In Isabel Oakeshott's head, if she was committing this act of fly tipping, the punishment to her would be legal only. But she wants to slap on poorer people the additional punishment of removing their benefits. So not only would they be punished under, the, under our legal system, they'd also be punished uh, financially by removing their lifeline it, it's such an easy argument and she thinks she won this argument by the way he's just destroyed her in just one sentence ludicrous isn't it i mean come Why? on it, I mean, because you're, those, you're, those, what you're saying is punishment you're, you're saying that if you're poor if you're someone i mean does it include tax credits so you could be a low-paid supermarket worker who's on tax credits because your boss doesn't pay you enough wages because most people on benefits are in work anyway. Mm. So if you're an if you're a low-paid supermarket worker yeah. or a care worker, okay, a care worker okay. who's paid uh, a, a low wage, you're topped up with tax credits, and if you fly tip, then you get your income slashed. But if you're a middle class lawyer, then you don't. Yeah, but you don't. And he's absolutely correct. We can't have a two tier legal system where the middle class aren't punished in the same way that the poor are. It's such an obvious argument that I'm surprised anyone's bothering to argue against it. But anyway. Then you don't. Yeah, but you don't How have to leave your mattress on the street corner, do you? It's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah, People no, should absolutely not be disagreeing. For it. Not disagreeing. Right. Jesus, there's the straw man coming from Oakshot. Oh, but fly tipping's absolutely disgraceful. People should have to be punished. Like she's suggesting Owen Jones is in some way saying fly tipping's fine. T standard stupid right-wing moronic tactic that's so easily defeated by people with half a brain i'm just saying you're you're saying that this isn't it's not justice when you're saying that one person is punished more than another because they're poorer than the other person that's all you're saying I, of course you are look, look at her she, i'm not saying that of course you are yes you're, if, if you're a middle class person, then you don't suffer the same punishment. I don't really see Why? how Why? class comes into it. You know, you... I don't see how class comes into it. There's someone is on benefits and someone who isn't. The whole discussion is based around benefit payments and docking them. How can class not come into it? What a stupid... Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, help me. Oh, I'm hyperventilating. You do, you, well, do come into it. you do something like that right. and you get punished for Can it. Can I, I mean, ask, why do you well, think... But why look, do you think maybe the, the middle... I have no problem with the middle-class person also being but they're not. told to clear it up. No, 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 but... No, no, we're talking undo about, the graffiti. Ah, no, we're not talking about that. We're saying if a... She's just been deliberately evasive now, trying to muddy the waters as much as possible. But unfortunately, she's up against someone <laughs> far smarter than she is. And trust me, I carry no torch for Owen Jones. Um, but she is completely out of her depth. Care worker yes. who is topped up with tax credits, yes. leaves a freezer out on the street, they're getting their benefits slashed as well as yes. what other punishment. Yes. If you're a lawyer, then you only get that other punishment. You don't get your income slashed. How is that you fair? Get, well... uh, Ans, please, I beg of you answer the question. Presumably you would also get fined. Well, so... well, we, well then just fine. Then you don't need to slash the but benefits. But you don't have to leave your fridge. Well, there you go. So that's it. So that's it. That's all we're talking about here. So that's that's the that's the level that's the level justice system we're talking about. Both commit the crime, both get fined. Middle class, working class, upper class, the Queen of England, uh, God, Lord Almighty Himself, right? <laughs> the same punishment for the same crime, regardless of your financial status. But look at Nick Ferrari here. He can see. That she's taking, um, you know, a, a, she's taking a one-two hook, uh, followed by an uppercut, uh, jab to the ribs, shot to the liver, and watch him step in here with with just the most inane point. 
then you don't need to flush the bin. But bench. you don't have to leave your fridge freezer on the street, ultimately. I, again... That... Jesus. Uh, here, look. Look at this. Like, the most obvious point imaginable. No, we don't need to leave our fridge freezers on the street. And yes, if no, no one left their fridge freezer on the street, wouldn't be, we, we wouldn't be having this discussion. He's just trying to get her out of trouble because he can see her floundering. Again, I've, we're all agreeing with that. Yeah. We're all agreeing with that. We're, so but what what, sanction but it goes have? against natural justice to punish someone more for the same crime. Obviously, that's what we're arguing here. But then as long as you clear up the graffiti in 48 hours, you won't get your benefits hit or anything like that. So well, well, then, carry well, the fridge well, back well, again. Or yeah. carry the fridge yeah, but again, where it's got to go. Regardless of the circumstances, you're still saying you should punish someone who's poorer for the same offence. Well, anyway, we'll leave it there because um, nothing really much to add other than Isabel Oakshot once again displaying just her total stupidity and then trying to get out of it with the usual what about her or the usual straw man or the usual f flailing around aimlessly saying, oh, I never said that. Just horrible, horrible woman. And um, thank God for people like Owen Jones exposing her for what she is.